I am Dr. Bharat Koyani, MD Pathologist, residing in Rajkot, Gujarat. Today we will see how to prepare cellulose acetate membrane for electrophoresis. First, we will take N and dimethyl formamide. Nine point five ML is taken into this glass bottle. Then we will take cellulose acetate powder. We'll weigh one point two grams in a weight machine. This is one point two gram. This cellulose acetate powder is added in previously taken N-N-dimethyl formamide. Then we will mix the powder with glass rod and will powder will dissolve into this solvent. It will take about five hours when we stir this powder but if we keep it overnight it will also dissolve after an overnight dissolution of the powder we will add polyethylene glycol 400 which is in the liquid form 0.5 ml is taken with disposable pipette and added into this. The whole material is mixed well and this is kept for one hour. After one hour, after dissolution of the powder with solvents, the glass plates or the granite plates are taken and the both borders of this granite and glass plates are stuck with a plastic material. The thickness of this plastic material is about 200 micrometer and this strip is prepared from the plastic sheets which are available in stationery. Now we will stick this uh, plastic material on two borders by Fevibond and after sticking this uh, plastic material the solution which is already prepared will pour this solution on the granite or glass plate like this. The whole material, liquid material is spread with a smooth border of glass plate and we will form a 30 degree with the granite plate and slowly the solution is spread between these two plastic strips. Again. On the other side, we will spread the solution like this. The remaining material is also added on another glass plate and it is spread over this glass plate, granite plate. Then after spreading the solution, we will keep the whole granite plate into the tap water slowly and wait for an hour. Slowly the cellulose acetate powder 
will be precipitated and membrane will be formed now you can see the white membrane formation in this bucket which is filled by tap water now after an hour we will remove the membrane and keep this membrane in the distilled water it can be used at least for 6 months and before dipping in the distilled water a cut mark is kept which will indicate the air surface and uh, glass surface this is the air surface which was touching the air and this was the behind surface was glass surface we have to load our samples on the glass surface so this point should be should be kept in mind and we have got various type of results on this uh, cellular resistant membrane prepared by in prepared by us and in our laboratory this is a serum protein electrophoresis now we can see albumin alpha 1 band alpha 2 band beta band and gamma globulin band very clearly this is our hemoglobin electrophoresis where we can see adult hemoglobin and sickle hemoglobin this is another example where we can see adult hemoglobin and sickle hemoglobin this is serum protein electrophoresis very good example of serum protein electrophoresis on our cellular resistant membrane prepared by us in our laboratory this also shows hemoglobin electrophoresis which shows adult hemoglobin fetal hemoglobin and sickle hemoglobin so in this membrane prepared by us in our laboratory very good results for protein and hemoglobin electrophoresis are achieved this is very cheap and in our laboratory whenever we suspect presence of sickle hemoglobin or we can presume the multiple myeloma and there is a doubt we can clear these doubts in in our own laboratory by doing the electrophoresis on the self made cellulose acetate membrane i hope this video will enable you to prepare this membrane in your own laboratory which is a small laboratory and many a times it will help in your diagnosis and it will give a good impact on the clinician thank you very much